This video carries on from Activity Networks Example 2. It's the third video on Critical Path Analysis Decision 2 that I've made. The purpose of this video really is so you can have a go, having watched the previous two videos. Here you can see a table showing tasks involved in a project. Have a go now at drawing an activity network from this table and consequently work out the minimum duration of the project. OK, if you pause the video and copy what you need down, I'm now going to sh work through, show you the solution step by step. Notice for this network we don't need a special end node, end activity, as we've got I as the final activity. We don't have more than one activity at the end. Notice here we've got two critical paths. BCREI and BDGI. Well, I hope you were successful with that. The next video is going to look at cascade diagrams and then we'll work on to resource histograms. <laughs>